We leave you tonight on this World Rivers Day with a rare look at one of the biggest in the world. The stunning St. Lawrence River system connects the Great Lakes to the Atlantic Ocean. Millions of people live on its banks, but few have seen beneath the surface, like a Montreal woman who dove into the darkness to shine a light. CTV Jean-Vian Beauchemin explains. The St. Lawrence may flow a stone's throw from downtown Montreal. <laughs> but for experienced diver Nathalie Laslin, exploring its depth, showcasing its vital role, emerged as an extreme adventure. I, I just want to die as an old lady, you know, <laughs> not, not underwater, never, never. Leslie has explored the waters of the world, documenting her travels. But more than a year and a half ago, she decided to take a closer look at the river flowing in her backyard. I explored the Arctic, I explored cave in remote area in China, all those places, and I'm like, what's it like down there? Her plan was to dive from one tip of the island of Montreal to the other. That would keep her beneath the surface for more than a day. The goal to highlight pollution in the city's source of tap water. As part of the project, she pulled out 300 kilograms of junk from a stretch of water earlier this year and collected samples, analyzed them, found pesticides and drugs. Uh, grande aventure. She set out last week for the dive with her team, intent on surfacing 70 kilometers later, though that would prove mission impossible. On that day, beautiful weather drew up pleasure crafts and so traffic tie-ups around the seaway. She had to navigate her underwater scooter closer to shore in a mess of weeds that jammed her propeller and reduced visibility. So that slowed her progress to a crawl. And about halfway through, she had to surface for a two-hour break. But she plunged back in, continuing the adventure, trying to control her path, avoiding rocks, taking short breaks under the water. Leslie finally reached her goal after more than 30 hours of diving. She was exhausted, her body battered. I wasn't that close to shore. But Leslie says it's her responsibility to raise awareness. I am a witness of what is going on on the water. I can't close my eye anymore. No matter the obstacles below the surface. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News, Montreal.